because political correctness grew for a lot longer than a lot of people think it did. People came, became aware of it in the 80s and 90s, really it predates it. it. It was a very intentional sort of strategy. And one of the aspects of this that occurred really in the 70s through the uh, radical feminists was to politicize everything, that the personal had to become the political, the most intimate sort of choices and interactions had to become politi- political choices. So now, you know, you can buy the conservative running shoes or the liberal running shoes. You can buy the conservative coffee or the liberal coffee. This is true now of pillows. So, you know, there's Mike Lindell who has advertised on this show before, uh, who makes a fabulous product. My pillow is advertised on a lot of conservative networks. He has my pillow. Now, David Hogg, who became a sort of celebrity after the Parkland shooting, and he formed all these various groups and stumped for a lot of candidates and, you know, made, made himself a, a sort of a sensation. He's founding a rival pillow company. Now, there's some question as to whether or not they're actually going to do the pillow company because they say, oh, yes, we're going to start this pillow company. He's, he's teamed up with an internet troll whose name I think is William Legate or Legate. Um, and uh, so I don't know if it's real or if it's just kind of a publicity stunt. Th- th- they were asking, you know, basically how to do it. How do you make a pillow company? So I don't know that it's really going to happen. But even the idea that this is a story shows you something about the state of our culture. So you have my pillow on the right, and some people are calling David Hogg's company Mao Pillow on the left. Uh, it might, it's not a bad idea. You might have some copyright issues in China, but China doesn't care about copyrights anyway. So you know, go for it. Uh, how much further does that go? Will this, will this affect every single product? Will the quality of the product matter? You know, Mike Lindell, he's not paying me to say this right now, right? He didn't buy any ads on the show today. The man makes a great pillow. <laughs> okay, say what you will. You might hate his politics. The man makes a magnificent pillow. Will uh, Mr. Hogg make a good pillow? I don't know. Maybe. Will it matter? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that it will. Or will people's affinity for these political issues overcome it? You know, and Mike Lindell, uh, you know, sort of, he's an eccentric character in public life. He's always made himself out to be. He goes on the commercials. He goes on media a lot. Uh, but when, when that coronavirus really kicked up earlier in 2020, Mike Lindell went in, he said, I'm converting some factories from making sheets and pillowcases. I'm going to make masks. And I have some of Mike Lindell's masks and they're excellent masks. They're the most breathable, comfortable masks that I have. I don't even know if he sold them. I think he may, he may have just donated them or something. Uh, that was a long time ago. That was back in March and April. In May and June, we're told, okay, you know, the masks, you got to wear them, but it's only 15 days to slow the spread. Now we're coming up on a year of this. If you enjoyed that break from disinformation, historical revision, and screaming about the end of the world, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss another video.